Hey everybody, today we are going to be learning how collisions work in Pygame once and for all. We are going to be recreating what you can see on the screen right now, which is our beautiful crone dinosaur running into a square, and when he runs into the square, his hitbox turns red. This is what we're going to be doing, let's jump right in. So this is going to be our starting point. We have the image of the dinosaur loaded up in our file tree over here on the left hand side and in addition to that you can see in the editor I have a bit of code and this is the basic bare bones structure of any Pi game that you make. It basically just gives me a blank canvas which we can go ahead and use. So let's go ahead and close that down and start off by drawing the dinosaur onto our canvas. In order to do that, we are first going to require a couple of things. So the first thing we need is the image of our dinosaur loaded in. We're going to write dino equals pygame.image.load and pass in as an argument the image name, which is dino.png. After we've done that, we also need to get the rectangular coordinates of our dinosaur. And in order to obtain the coordinates of our dinosaur, that means the x value, the y value, the width and the height, we can simply write rect for our rectangle and then we can go ahead and write dino.get underscore rect. And this, uh, this method over here is going to return the information about the rectangle of our dinosaur. The next thing we can go ahead and do is we can go ahead and print this onto our screen. So we simply use the screen.blit and remember the screen is the variable defined at the very top over here and this basically gives us a um, blank screen which has a dimension of 500 by 500 pixels. So we're going to blit onto the screen the dyno dino and then the second argument is going to be a tuple with the coordinates of our dinosaur and we can do this by simply writing rect dot x rect rect dot y because the rectangle which we have uh, declared over here has two attributes which is an x value and a y value so if we now go ahead and run this you'll see that we have our dinosaur printed out onto the top left hand side of our screen. Now a pretty handy thing about the blip method over here is that it also recognizes rectangles and so in order to shorten this we can simply write rect instead of passing in the individual coordinates and this will give us the same result as you can see right now. All right, now that we've printed the dinosaur onto our screen, we want to start to move the dinosaur. And I'm going to paste this code in uh, so as to not spend too much time typing, more time explaining. And this is the code block which I've just pasted in. It first assigns a um, variable the value of the key which we're pressing, and then it it distinguishes between which key we're pressing. If we're pressing the left key, this condition returns true and we move down and the code which comes after the colon in this if statement is executed, which is that the rectangle, the x value of the rectangle is decreased by the value of vel. And we have not yet defined what vel is. Vel is the velocity which we are going to move the dinosaur across the screen at. So we're going to say that the velocity equals 10. And this means that the dinosaur is going to be moving at 10 pixels for every iteration of the while loop. Remember, Pygame runs in this while loop. So for every iteration of this while loop, we are moving the dinosaur by 10 pixels. And if I go ahead and run this now, you'll see that we can move the dinosaur across the screen. So now I'm going to press my keybinds and you can see the dinosaur moves swiftly and smoothly across our screen. Now let's move on and create the obstacle. We are going to call the obstacle obstacle. 
So let's write obstacle. And it is also going to be a pi game rectangle. So pi game dot rect. And this method takes four arguments. It takes an x value, which is going to be 400, a y value, which is going to be 200, and then a width and a height in that order. And we're going to make both the width and the height 80 pixels. After we have uh, created the obstacle, we also want to go ahead and draw it onto our screen. And that is going to be quite simple by simply writing pygame dot draw dot rect and it is going to take a couple of arguments the first is the surface where we want to draw the rectangle that is going to be the screen then it takes a color and we want to make it black so that's going to be an rgb code zero 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 and then we want to pass in the coordinates of where we want to draw in and we can simply write obstacle over here because it already contains the exact coordinates of where we want to draw in. And finally, we also want to add how big the line is which goes around the rectangle. We're going to make it four pixels. Okay, so now that we've done that, let me go ahead and run the code. And you'll see we have a dinosaur and we have the rectangle. Now comes the part that we've all been waiting for, which is the collision. We are going to check for the collision by using a simple if statement which checks when the hitbox of the dinosaur collides with the hitbox of the obstacle. So we are simply going to write if the rectangle, which is the rectangle of the dinosaur image, collide rect with the obstacle and if they hit then we are simply going to write uh, pygame dot draw dot rect and we are going to draw that red rectangle around our dinosaur so we need to first pass in the screen which is where we want to draw the red rectangle then we pass in the color of the red rectangle and the rgb code for red is the one that i've just typed in then we pass in the coordinates and that is going to be within uh, rect, uh, the variable rect, and we pass in the line width which we want our square to have, which is also going to be 4 pixels. So if I go ahead and run this code now, it should work just fine. So you can see the dinosaur, and if I run into the obstacle, then the hitbox turns red and regardless of where, whether I'm hitting the obstacle from the top, from the left, from the right, or even from the other hand side, it always turns red when we collide. If this video helped you out, make sure to leave it a like and let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see next on this channel and if there's any particular topics you'd like me to cover.